Hey guys, it's your friend Brizzy Bree. Uh, I'm doing another kind of episode or whatever of my prior rotation. We're going into week nine and ten. So I've said this to everybody that I know that's in the beauty community. I am not a minimalist. I don't believe in that shit. That's not for me. That's not how I live my life. I am a consumer, hardcore. Uh, I'm a capitalist type person. I believe in um, that system. However, it has come to my attention that I have. A massive amount of eyeshadow palettes. I was at over a little over 800, and so I started going through my collection and I'll, and I purged a lot of things, but there was a lot that I still have that I really still like, and so I'm trying to find that balance between collecting, buying stuff that I really don't need, and um, being better a better consumer. I have an amazing Natasha Denona collection, and it's going unused because I have all this other stuff. So. I'm trying to rotate things differently. If I don't need it or I'm not going to use it, it needs to go. So um, that's kind of inspired a different way for me to pick my eyeshadows every week. I'm doing a random um, picker. And so this is what it came up with. So for eyeshadows, the next two weeks, we're going to be using the chocolate bar, um, which I actually do have some pan here. Um, this is one of my first eyeshadow palettes, so I'm happy about that. Then I'm going to be using the Yes Please Cute AF, which is... That is gnarly. I'm so sorry. And a couple of shadows I picked from Strobe Cosmetics over here on the side. Then um, I actually decluttered this palette. This is the Becca Henri Rouge. And I repurchased it because I really do like it. And I got rid of my baked browns from Joseph Color. So we're going to be using this. Um, this, I have all of the ColourPop um, palettes that they've made. Um, and all the singles now. This is Vacation Mode from ColourPop. I've never used it. I've had it since um, April of last year. I've never used it. So we're going to use that. And then what was the other one? Oh, Saucy, which is from I Love Sarah E. Um, I've never used this, I don't think, and I've had it forever. Yeah, this we got to get some use. So that's another one that got picked. And I like that I'm not picking them anymore, you know? Like, I'm not responsible for it. Um, then it picked the Natasha Denona Joya, which I have used, and this was a really, I have like paper towels right here to kind of seal it down, but this is a beautiful palette. Let me see if I can, yeah, I'm really excited to use this one. These are the kind of colors I like. I'm really into purples and burgundies and golds. Then, um, it picked, and I have my stuff divided into different categories. I have high-end, uh, large, small high-end, luxury, and affordable. So I picked one to two from each category. This is Pat McGrath Bronze Ambition. So I haven't used this. I've had it for several months. I haven't used it. Can you believe that? Isn't that a shame? Okay, and then it picked the Fun Sized Violet Boss Creme Brulee. I have all of Violet Boss's palettes except for the Matte About You. Matte About You. I have all of her palettes. I really like the formula. Okay. Picked. I'm excited about this one, the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Palette. This had a lot of controversy when it was initially released. Oh, sorry, just kidding. Um, I love Dominique Cosmetics. Um, she is a YouTuber that doesn't get in a lot of trouble, keeps her nose clean. She seems like a sweet young lady. I love her. The Latte Palette, I love. So, I'm excited about that one. And then this one was picked from the large category, and it's the Treasure Box from Tarte. A lot of people rag on Tarte. I love Tarte. I don't know... It's like my Lorocan Tarte or my neutral brands. Is there a film on this? Yeah. So I'm excited about this. I've used this one before, but we're going to use it again. Okay, so those are the eyeshadows that we're going to use in this next couple of weeks. And those are good picks. Like, those are things that I'm excited to try and see if I want to keep them. So I'm going to use them a couple of weeks. If I don't want to keep it, it's, it's over with. For blushes... We have a Coastal Sense Custom Palette that got picked. And for highlighter, we have Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Sun Dip. This is my first ever highlight palette. I used to use the hell out of it. but So I decided as far as blushes and highlighters are concerned, I'd either get one highlighter, one blush palette, or I'd get a fight face palette that has all of it in there. And then I, uh, the randomizer or whatever, picked um, 
Tarte Suite. It picked Amuse Cosmetics Illuminator, number two. This is kind of a highlighter for darker skin. And then, of course, it picked one of my favorite bronzers, the Milani Baked Bronzer and Soleil. Picked those. I know my nails look terrible. I, I don't really care. Then it picked uh, Fig & Row Soft Focus Pore Perf Perfect HD Matte Veil. And then, and this is funny. These are the two I need to finish up. This is the Rimmel London Pro Multi Action Makeup Primer. So I picked those two. Excuse me. The weather in Houston is crazy. It was like 80 the other day. It's 50 degrees outside. It doesn't know what it wants to do. Then it picked, this is the Sheer Matte Foundation from NARS in Syracuse. I'm actually wearing that right now. And then it picked my Double Wear, which is, God, it's like right down here. It's very low. So we're going through the foundations, which is good. It picked the Pro Matte um, Foundation from LA Girl in Cafe. And it picked the Milani Conceal and Perspect 2-in-1 in Light Tan. Is that everything? That's everything. Yeah, that's what I picked. So I'm excited to see what uh, works for me and what doesn't. And like I said, I'm not really trying to be a minimalist. I'm just trying to get my collection in a place that I'm happy with it. Um, like I've said before, if there's stuff in my drawer that I just have it in there and I just want to swatch it every once in a while, that's its purpose. As long as everything has a purpose and a function, I'm okay with it. I don't mind that I have a lot of stuff. I've gotten down to 668 palettes. I know. It's a lot. I mean, that's, I mean, I... <laughs> I have to find something to do with my time. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you're having a bad day, I'm really sorry. It'll get different. Um, things tend to get different and get real, and they get real fucking different. Um, if you're having a hard time, just hang on, and uh, things will change eventually. So um, thank you for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not your normal beauty YouTuber. I'm not. That's not my claim to fame. I'm just a woman with a lot of makeup, and I try to have some fun with my time. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. the waves cut through me hypnotized by the sounds i'm breathing in hold tight hold tight